when you lack this operation with the Lord, you lack wisdom. You lack wisdom. You can be swindled anyhow. You can run out of opportunities. Why? Because you lack the operation of the wisdom of the Spirit. Amen. And so, you don't negotiate with the voice of the Lord. You don't negotiate with his counsel. You don't. Let me tell you something. Taking the voice of God and running with his instruction is for your construction. Ignoring his instruction is for your abandonment. You are a project. You are what? A project. You are a work in progress. Every instruction is to take the project to the next level. Every advice, every counsel of the spirit is to move the project to the next level. But when you ignore the counsel, when you ignore the instruction, you remain where you are. So, God is still God. He's still seated on the throne. Your stubbornness and rebellion and disobedience does not fire him, does not sack him, does not impeach him. He is impeachable. It is you who refuses the instruction that gets affected in destiny. Destiny is a journey that suggests that there is a destination. So, how do you arrive at the destination? By taking instruction per time, per time, per time. So, walking with divine counsel, walking in obedience and total submission to the Lord is called wisdom. Maybe I should add this one. Kings don't explain. God has no explanation. And that is where it becomes too hard for man. Too hard for man. You are taking a whole discussion to the Lord. Lord, you know, so and so years, so and so thing happened and it went this way and it went that way. And now something is happening that looks like it is a, 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 a restoration of an opportunity and uh, I want to know exactly what you have to say about it. And the Lord just gives you one word. Stop. Ah. Stop. Is it stop talking or stop thinking about it or stop going towards that particular agenda. Stop what? Just one word. But he is a master communicator. That one word, you will know. Everything in you will know what he is saying. Hallelujah. You have come with a long story. He just gave you one word. He is a king. He does not explain. So if you are in church and you are the kind that always want explanation before you take instruction, you are a rebel. You are a rebel because in this kingdom, explanations are not necessary. We only explain scripture. We don't explain instruction. We only explain Christ. We don't explain instruction. Instruction is don't, do, go, come, sit down, wait. Instruction is not explained. Otherwise, Trust is lacking. True of us? Yes. If you trust that I am your father, you trust that I am your God, and you trust that I do all things, you trust that I love you, I will not mislead you, I won't push you into the grave. If I say, don't do this, you should trust me and know that I have the best interest for you. So if you begin to ask for explanation, why should I not do it? Tell me. It means you don't trust me. Hallelujah. And God wants us to what? Trust him. Imagine a whole apostle Paul, the 
wonderful preacher. Eager, eager. The same one who said, woe is me if I preach not the gospel. Ah, anywhere there, there was a soul, Apostle Paul was ready to go and preach. Jesus Christ crucified. And all of a sudden in his eagerness, he got to a point the Holy Spirit said, they're not going. The, he didn't have words to explain to us what happened. He simply said the Holy Spirit constrained them from going to preach the gospel there. Constrained them. No explanation. No words. Just constrained them. That is, I want to go and something is holding you back. Hallelujah. Ah, the same Lord who has said, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel will constrain someone from going into a city to preach without explanation. Come to Macedonia and help us. Full stop. The guy woke up from the dream. He knew the Lord is now saying Macedonia is the next place. No explanation. Amen. You have besieged this mountain long enough. Now take your leave. Move to where I'm, I'm sending you. No explanation. You want to prosper be intentionally careful to instructions. 